Hello and welcome to the next video of our channel Practical Hope. In this video, we are going to compute partition function and other thermodynamical variables for the systems with finite energy level, say 2 level, 3 level, and a finite number of non interacting particles using Maxwell Boltzmann, Bose Einstein, and Fermi Dirac distribution. We have divided the whole problem into two parts. In the first part, we are only going to deal with Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Bose Einstein and Fermi Dirac distribution will take up in the next part. So, first partition function for a system using Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. Consider a system of n energy levels and one particle. Say this is the zero energy level and the energy difference between two consecutive levels is capital E. So, energy of the first level will be E and second level will be 2E and so on. The general form of the partition function is this nj are the number of particles that energy level ej for a particular state and this outer summation is over all the possible states so the partition function can be evaluated like this suppose the particle is at level 0 so the exponential term in the wave expression becomes 1 because energy is 0 now suppose the particle is at uh, level 1 with energy capital e so the exponential term becomes exponential of minus e by kt n is 1 because we are only considering one particle similarly the particle can be at second level third level and so on so we get the value of the partition function for the case of one particle p0 is the probability that the particle occupy level 0 p1 is the probability that the particle occupy level 1 and so on since we are considering the case of uh, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution where the particles are uh, distinguishable and uh, non interacting, so for n particles, the partition function is given by this. Now, once we have the partition function, we can evaluate the values of uh, internal energy, specific heat, Helmholtz free energy, and entropy. Finally, how to do differentiation with respect to temperature since we need it to evaluate the thermodynamical variables. Now, d by dt is approximately equal to delta e by delta t for small values of delta t. Delta e can be calculated in scilab using def function. Once we do that, we get the values of delta e1, delta e2. Delta e1 is e2 minus e1, delta e2 is uh, e3 minus e2 and so on. Now we are assuming that in our case delta t is constant that is t2 minus t1 is equal to t3 minus t2 and so on. Now we can divide the values of uh, delta e by delta t to get d by dt at every point. Suppose we want to plot d by dt with temperature. The number of points of uh, d by dt are one less than the number of points for temperature. So, we have to remove last element of vector t so that the dimensions of uh, temperature values matches with the dimensions of d by dt. Similarly, to plot d2e by dt2 with temperature, we have to remove last two elements of temperature vector or last two temperature values. Let's move on to the programming part now. First, give a suitable title. CLC is to clear the console, CLF will clear or uh, reset the graphic window, clear is to clear the variables in the workspace, define constants, Boltzmann constant and charge of an electron. Then set the energy difference between levels to 0 0.01 electron volt. Then we have to set the number of energy levels. We are considering three energy levels 0, 1 and 2. Then we have to define the number of particles. We are going to vary the number of particles from 100 to 500 in steps of 100. Next, we have to define the step size of the temperature dt equal to 0 0.01 Kelvin. Then we have to define the range of the temperature. We are going to change the temperature from 1 to 1000 Kelvin. Now, as discussed earlier, suppose we want to take a first derivative, then the number of elements of temperature vector should be reduced by 1. So, we are defining T1 equal to T and clearing its last element. 
we also need second derivative so we are defining variable t2 and clearing the last value of t2 so number of elements of t1 are 1 less than t and the number of elements of t2 are 2 less than t first define a for loop that will run from 1 to length of np that is number of particles then define another for loop j that will run from 1 to length of temperature set z t equal to 0 define third loop for i equal to 1 to length of nl that is number of energy levels first we will evaluate the values of the exponentials then we have to add the values of these exponentials since partition function is the sum of all these exponential values z t is the partition function for one particle only if we want to calculate the partition function for n p then we have to evaluate like this z equal to z t raised to the power n p that is number of particles we can also evaluate the values of uh, probability of occupancy since we have already evaluated the values of exponential we just need to divide p by z t now since we have uh, evaluated the partition function we can evaluate other thermodynamical variables first average energy u given by kb multiply by t square multiply by derivative of log z since we have taken derivative of log z once so instead of temperature vector t we have to use t1 next specific heat du by dt then helmholtz free energy capital f minus kbt log z finally entropy minus derivative of Helmholtz free energy that is minus df by dt now we have to plot partition function probability and four thermodynamical variables that we have evaluated use subplot to divide the graphic window to two rows and three columns first plot probability line width 6 X label T Kelvin with font size 6 Y label probability of occupancy font size say 5 set uh, different energy levels 0 1 2 as legends then we have to plot uh, partition function so subplot 2 comma 3 comma 2 plot T prime comma Z line width 6 x label t bracket k font size 6 y label partition function font size 6 set different number of particles as legends instead of writing subplot plot x label y label and legends every time let's copy from here and paste change plot position to 3 change t to t1 z to u since we have to plot uh, internal energy change comment and y label as shown again paste change plot position to 4 instead of uh, t we have to plot t2 with uh, cv change uh, comment plot specific heat change y label to specific heat change the position of the legend to 1 paste again change plot position to 5 instead of z write uh, f helmholtz uh, free energy change y label appropriately change the position of the legend to 3 again paste change plot position to 6 instead of t we have to plot t1 instead of z write uh, s entropy change y label so our program is finished let's uh, run it it is taking too much time so it's better to change the value of dt from 0 0.01 to 0 0.1 run the program again 
so these are the curves we can uh, increase the size of the legends we can also increase the line width select axis 5 and change the scale of y axis from line to log so that we get a better display so these are the final curves i hope you like this video share it with your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe our channel if you haven't done it yet